Hello, this is Boomerman2004 from the Teep Forums. I am going to show you um, basically what I've done with my Bedini motor. This is a basic Daftman set out, except I have modified it. with a, And I also have a uh, rotor here with four sets of magnets on it. And I realized that while I do have a couple magnets on there, on each one, it doesn't quite take that. But uh, anyways, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you the regular powering mode with the regular neon. And I have a switch to switch it over to the 4 watt neon. So I'll show you what my modification does. Over here is my switch to turn it on. You'll notice there's a cap here, but it's not being used. I have a switch right here as well to turn that off or on. It's off. Okay. It's my regular speed. Notice the neon is on. Now here's the interesting part. Over here is a couple magnets with a spring and another piece of metal. This switches on and off the voltage going to the neon. So every time a magnet makes a pass towards these magnets, it activates that spring which touches the metal. Still runs the same. Now here's another interesting part. There's the neon. Of course it puts a little drag on there. So my original thought was to reduce the drag on the neon and the, the drag on the rotor. So. This piece of plastic there where I can adjust these magnets here. Or I can just move it with my finger here. Now look at that. can adjust speed if you find a way to hold those magnets where you want them. we're still collecting some of that energy in that tube. While at high speed. So, anyways, here's uh, another thing I've been working on. Adjust this one here. Okay. This is basically like the same setup on the other side, only I'm using paper clips. Take the power off there and hook it up through here. So we're pulsing the power in according to the speed of the rotor.
So now we have another way to tune this. And what I'm wondering is if the energy going in is being pulsed rapidly, would that save on energy going in? since it can be adjusted accordingly. Now if I just hold this, it runs like it normally would. So, it's a win-loss situation, I guess, to where you can either go for speed, more voltage. And keep your rotor at a low speed. You can save on voltage going in, but if you apply full voltage, you can get more speed out of it. So I'm going to go ahead and hook this back up the way I had it. Now I'm going to adjust it for speed. Anyways, you can hear the difference, you can see it, so now you know what I was trying to explain. Here's the thing. It's running fast. The full watt light bulb. Switch over to the neon. Nothing. Hope that will better explain what I was trying to say.